G'day mates and welcome back to Leon de Grel's Territorial Expansion. So, look at this, our country is united in purpose. Oh, wait, we actually, wait, have we actually fixed stability then? Oh, I guess it's going to go slowly down now. I don't know if it's actually fixed though, but anyway. And uh, we're also super supportive of war. This is because we don't have the ability to do that in Kaiserreich, because it's, like, even in normal Kaiserreich you have that uh, ability, but we're just bugged to fuck. So anyway, we have started the whole uh, expansion of our, uh, sorry, uh, war, war goal, bloody uh, justifying. Christ, I, took me a while to say that. Oh, it's Isaac Isaacs, the best person in Kaiserreich. Um, oh, oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Sorry, I'm just reading up all the commie stuff. Look, I'll join you guys soon enough, don't worry, but... Did you just declare war on the United States of Great- Oh no, because you've just declared war on Hungary, who has- They got a lot of puppets, you know, they're gonna- Like, Hungary legitimately has a fuck ton of puppets. Like, uh... Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting to war to see. Alright, well there we go. We've now- The Entente is joined by the, uh... What do you call it? Oh wait, hang on, is that- Oh, you need Burma, right, I forgot I'm war with them. Alright, we gotta get through bloody Siam already so we can hurry up and get to Burma. How long have we got? Ah, uh, okay, a little bit longer. Not too long. Um, the Qing, of course, have just fucking ruined the Japanese in China. I'm always tempted to just go invade the Japanese. What would that take? Like, there's no fleets around here. What is it, What is their fleet strength at this point, right? Man, game's a little bit quiet. Let me just turn that up. Beautiful. Um, okay, so the divisions are somewhat high. Their fleet strength is really not that good. Like, if I could actually get wait a second, what the fuck happened to my battle? Oh wait, no, I've got battleships. Thank God, I was very afraid for a moment I'd lost my battleships. I was distinctively terrified. Anyway, let's put get your boys into here. But I guess if we just like quickly uh, navally invaded probably like the southern islands or something, I don't know. Hopefully there just won't be any uh, people there, and we could sweep in, take. Some I mean, they've got a fair bit of men, but I just, I just really want their factories and shit. Like the whole islands myself, yes, please. The Yankees could come help actually. I'd let them help. Um, let's see, let's there we go. just keep on. Oh yeah, we've actually got the uh, new weapons now, don't we? That's right, we're trying to build uh, mechanized. We're actually starting to get enough equipment to do that. Let's uh, start looking at actually upgrading our calves first to being mechanized. I'm gonna have to get rid of the bicycle divisions, it's gonna make me so sad. And that's like, I, I guess I just replaced divisions, couldn't I? Wait, did you just clear and... Wait, is Ukraine a puppet of... Uh... Oh, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Hang on, what has just happened? Oh wait, okay, I think they advanced for their puppets, but because it's their puppets, they took the land. God, that's disgusting. Well, Hungary is really not doing as good as you'd hope they would. Holy shit. I mean, Austria is doing surprisingly well. Austria is actually pushing, but... God damn, ugh. Poor Hungary. Now Ukraine's coming on in. You Wait, it's... so is Ukraine a puppet? No, they're just all sort of war with the commies. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, hang on, how are you still... Wait, so all the puppets just went free? So now, oh wait, I can... what the fuck just happened? So all the puppets are now free, and are able to fight back and like fight on against the commies, but uh... I guess Hungary's just gone on its... okay? There goes the... oh god, these are gonna be a lot of peace deals in the upcoming days. Bosnia's having a fucking go. Oh god, please, wait, why the fuck are my division still here? Run! Quick! Bad people are coming! The commies are coming. Wait, oh yeah, I'm not actually uh, able to... I'm not fighting the commies just yet, aren't I? Okay. You always sail off like, what the fuck are you still doing there? Honestly. Attention. Get out of here. What? You're just stuck on a boat. What are you doing? Alright, get him out of here. Come on. Get him over to uh, Indochina. Is he just... Is he just actually stuck there? Oh, because I can't cross here, I'm guessing. Oh. So... Literally, I just can't ever get that div this division is just stuck here forever. Oh Great That's um Well then let's uh, get back over to Siam where at least things are a little bit more logical. Oh god I'm loving this fucking research bonus though. Holy shit uh, We doing well on oh shit resources are actually not doing well on give me more resources you German bastards. Uh, and then we'll go... What? More building? I mean, we're about to get, uh... I'm actually gonna get synthetics, because we're about to go down the whole buildy buildy uh, mechanized lines. So, let's see about upgrading our armored boys to having, uh, mechanized troops in them. So we're gonna start with you boys. Here we go. 
beautiful. All right, expand our dry docks, lovely. It's going to decrease their speed, though. Actually, let's probably keep them that way, then. Let's keep those guys with motorized. Let's make our cav mechanized instead. All our cav boys are now mechanized. I'm sorry, bicycles. Should I just leave the bicycles in here anyway? Should it just be, like, a bunch of mechanized? Okay, I don't even have the cost yet to actually be able to do this, so sure. It's a bunch of mechanized and two bicycles. That's what it's going to be. Oh, boy. This is going to be a, a great day. Oh, okay. What is, what is happening over here? Oh... Oh my. Uh, oh, I didn't think this could actually get worse, but it's gotten worse. Oh great, the Croatians are here now. Wow, oh, holy shit. I've just realized that Siam's actually really well equipped. Um, that's a fuckload of divisions. Shame they're not actually on your border for some fucking reason. Let's do this shit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to encourage my boys mostly because uh, of the supply issues, meaning that the AI is just like, you know what? I'd rather just not attack at all. You know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm hungry, all right? I'm having, I'm having me day, all right? Okay, how are we doing? Okay, we've broken through a little bit up north, so what we do now is we keep pushing down. But the main part is to hopefully try and cut off these boys up here. So, cut down here. I am, I'm well versed in fighting here. I think I did the, it was the Viet Cong stream where I fought in this fucking, in Siam alone for like, it must have been like a three hour war. Like, that was like how long the war took me to finish. It was so fucking long. Just slowly back and forth fighting. At least that time I was a much inferior army, so winning was far more impressive. Alright. Here we go. We just want to press pressure them in the north so they can't keep retreating. Oh, what the f- Oh no, hang on, because I called in the Yankees. Wait, no, this is the Siamese War. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say, because I called in the Yankees, do they get to join us against Japan? Oh man, I think they called in everyone else. Fuck, I forgot that they can do that. Well, oh well, I still want to make sure that we win. We actually are the ones to invade Japan and not uh, not allow them to get any any bit of it. Any piece of my fucking pie. Bougez-vous Bougez indeed. Well, there goes all of the fucking uh, Austrians' hopes for uh, independence. I mean, I mean, they weren't even independent in the first place. They are a fucking puppet. Now they're just a Cindy puppet. Big difference. Actually, I'm pretty sure they don't even exist anymore. They're just German now. Well, the Anschluss was a little bit late in this timeline, but it still fucking happened. It's only 1941, holy shit. The Cindy's haven't gotten their cup up, uh, comeuppance yet. And if you... <laughs> Here's a little hint on how I'm planning to deal with the Cindy's. Yep, It's called a foothold. Oh, hello there, easy encirclements. I like the look of you. Remember to always stop them from sending boys in to help out with the encirclement. Instead, encircle it with no chance to reinforce. Yes! I'm becoming the British guy from Blackwake. Attention. Oh god, uh, that game is fucking fine. Best pirate game there is. Man, <laughs> whenever I say pirate nowadays, I just get really sad. To see if these wasn't me. good. Oh man. Oh man. Anyway, let's. Uh, you fucking crush these. What are you guys doing? You have them dead to fucking rights. There we go. Jesus. How's the casualty so far? Oh my fucking god. Oh right. Okay, I was wondering how in the living fuck they'd killed two million people in like two months. No, there's uh, all the way with the chin, right? Uh, Ching, rather. Um, you know, Burma's lost. Uh, that's not really what I want to worry about here. Uh, to Wallonia's 170,000. Oh, they actually lost under the Ching as well. I guess, I guess they have been at war with them. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, they've probably been sent over. I was, uh, to like fight on the, uh, far borders, probably. It's a good point. The, uh, um, Alg Est Ostersignant. Whatever. How are they doing? Just, okay, their best friend is Ireland, so clearly they're doing A-OK. -okay. Um, are the Yankees trying to invade? You better not, alright, boys. You, you hang off, alright? I'll, I'll get it, I'll get the island all on my own. Worry not. Just give me some time. What are you guys attacking for? Chill. Wait, is that... Are those Burmese troops, or are they... Okay, those are Siamese troops, right. So they are actually trapped, and they are going to starve to death here. So yeah, we can just roll in the, uh... How good are these mechanized troops? These are... Oh, Right, these are shit because I've just remembered two things. One, they're probably not well equipped, and two, these aren't actually mechanized troops. These are half cavalry, half mechanized. Look, I'm sorry, bicycle. Uh, no, you know what? No, we're not abandoning our bicycle heritage. We're gonna keep a little bit of those bicycles in us at all times. God, this is just that. We're just gonna call these boys the uh, the mech bike division. Perfect. All right, and then we're actually gonna get a proper division leveling up. There we go. We're gonna want to put some, uh, oh, we can get some light tank, uh, artillery with these guys. That'd be fun. Here we go. Go like so. And cut that stuff out. Here we go. Doop, 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 doop. And then we'll, uh, upgrade these guys to have light tank bloody, uh, bombards with them. So here we go. We're gonna call these boys the, uh, the Belgian mechs. Here we go. The proper mechs. So what is it? 
The Leon Mc... Mc... <laughs> McGrill. Perfect. McGrill. The Leon Mc... I'd eat that burger. What would be on a Leon McGrill? Just... <laughs> a fine patty of beef. <laughs> of beef. Beef. Of Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's favorite beef. Um, oh, you guys are about to get surrounded. Should you just not be doing that now? Thanks. Um, fine layer of, you know, fine layer of, the, you know, finest beef you can find, right? A few leaves of lettuce, a rasher of bacon, and just a nice dressing of imperialism. Perfect. You've got your... I mean, I like how... No, wait, no, no. I was going to say I like how I forgot the nationalism, but then no, of course. It's a burger. The little, like, flag that you put on top of the burger is a Belgian flag. There you go. That, there's your dose of nationalism. Perfect. That's, uh, that's how you make the Leon McGrill. Oh my god, can you guys, uh, actually deal with these? Come on, oh, what the fuck is this? Come on. Alright, someone go save him. These dickheads got themselves surrounded. Good job. Good job, gentlemen. This is, uh, oh, you've actually managed to kill these- Oh wait, the fucking Burmese are helping out now, great. Can you guys rescue my guys? Thank you, fall back. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna go send more guys. Actually, let's just capitulate the fucking nation, shall we? Uh, it's actually harder than I say, uh, sort of harder to do that than I say, because you need to go all the way down south to Singapore. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Singapore's under their control, so am I going to get control of that, or is that going to go back to the Dutch um, East Indies? Uh, not Dutch East Indies, the fucking Deutsch uh, East Asian Company or whatever. But not not the big one, the other small one that Muki uh, to Hel Helmuth runs. God, what a fucking name, Helmuth. Hello there, my name is Helmuth. Okay, Satan, <laughs> take your leave of my presence, please. Jesus Christ. I'd love- just go into a church and be like, yeah, my name is actually Hellmouth. Um, why are you throwing holy water at me? Please stop. These are nice clothes. I don't need holy water in it. What is in holy water? Is it just normal water? Welcome to the rambling part where I'm not actually pushing that far, so I need to think- I'm just- just, just rolling through like, okay, there's not much to think about here, it's just a basic little push. Alright, what's in holy water? This is- this is the sort of thing when someone says, oh, I'm thinking about nothing, that's- this is what they're thinking. They're thinking, what is actually in holy water? Do the priests, like, put anything in it? Is there- is there a priest out there who's put, like, grape flavoring in? But it's like- it's like the see-through, like, the non-dyed stuff. So it's like... Hmm... You know, I'm getting a baptism, but everything tastes like grape. This must be holy. Yes, of course, you know, it's... Aren't grape- ain't grape juice holy or whatever? I don't know, because it's Jesus' blood or something? I don't fucking know. Look, I wasn't religious, and thank fucking god I'm st- I wasn't religious, now I am, of course. I- I- it's the Leon of Degrel. That is, uh, that is my finest religion. He's, uh, he's convinced me that he is, in fact, the, uh, the almighty, all-powerful. Uh, not the son of God, he is actually the God. He, he's a self sessed sort of guy, you know? Like, he's, uh, he's son of God and also God. Uh, it's a really confusing family tree, right? It loops around itself a few times, alright? It's mostly just him, um, nutting with different hands. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, for fuck's sake! Alright, let's, um... Get bloody charisma up. Oh, beautiful. Oh! I don't think you could have made a worse decision. I don't know if that was actually possible. Hmm. Hmm. No, okay, here we go. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it could have been worse if the Swiss were also Cindy's. Somehow the Swiss have gone fucking... Oh my god, what is their fucking line? On the transport of goods, banned syndicalist unions. This looks really fucking cool. They've gone down... Do they even... Can I just not see them, uh... Can I just not see the, what the line they've done? Or have they actually done their focus tree? Okay, no, it's unknown, right. But, holy shit. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. That they've got a, uh... Oh, okay, the Bircher plan, there we go. I think that's the guy in charge, isn't it? Eugen Bircher. Lovely national populists. I think he's one of the- wait, who's National Populist at this point? I always do enjoy, like, seeing the very small amount of people who is, uh, of us. Okay, wow. Kick your land, right, obviously. Japan has become National Populist. It was originally Market Lib, wasn't it? Um, Portugal, and it was Russia and us. So, Portugal, obviously, and then Tokahau, uh, so Tohokai have taken over. Beautiful. What a fucking- what a great timeline, you know? Everyone's- everyone's going nap pop, you know, all five of us. We're having a grand old time. It's just, you know, us and the best ideology in the world. Basically fascism. It's perfect. You know what? No no problems with it. Let's try and cross this river. Actually, uh... Ah, the problem is it's kind of hard to cut... Wait, is there a port here? No, okay, so it's, it's totally easy to cut the guys off in the north. Never fucking mind. Uh, unless they've got supply from here, which they... Hang on. No. Yeah, no. Uh, what is fucking... 
What does access look like again? I've completely forgotten. Oh, it's a key, right. That makes a lot more sense than it, uh, that, that honestly should have been like what I'd expect. Maybe it'd be like some sort of uh, object used for accessing a location. You, generally a location that is otherwise restricted. Hmm, hmm. Probably a boot. Perfect. Bang on, Remy. You're just so fucking smart. You'll make a detective one day, sure. One day you'll get that big promotion. And the day after you'll retire. On your new, on your new retirement package. Perfect. I wonder if that's ever happened. Like, someone's ever gotten like a new, like a promotion at work. And they get like a new retirement package with it or whatever. Like, I, I don't know. Like, to, I, I don't do business. Alright, I assume that's a thing that people get. And be like, oh look, okay, when you retire, you'll get this sort of stuff. And then just be like, okay, I'm retiring. Wait, what? No, yeah, no, I'm retiring right now. Eat a dick, bye bye, I'm leaving. Alright. Now comes the point where, oh shit. We have to actually stop these guys from threatening my fucking flanks. Dickheads. Let's take out their capital. Oh, this is looking beautiful. These guys are all starting to starve up north. We're about to switch their capital to be the one down here, but then we'll just go wipe that off the fucking face of the earth. Wait a second, why they got Sing- Oh no, it's not- I thought I was gonna say Singapore's their capital, but no. They haven't actually got a claim on it, do they? Nope. Not a chance of it. Alright, what about, uh, going up Morlaming? No? What are you- Oh, no, there's a fucking, uh, little bloody blocky wall in between us, of course. That means a bit- it's a big no-no wall, basically. Perfect, pushing on down. Alright, we're doing lovely. Okay, we've almost taken their capital as well. Gonna ruin up oh, major parts of their army. Doing good, boys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there is just carriers parked off the coast. That's not so fun. But, uh, thankfully my navy's nice and safe over here with the Yankees guarding it. Have they got, what sort of, like, a, hey, they got a little uh, Tommy gun. Nice. Still no uh, naval landings. We're doing okay. Hey, Mechanize 2. That's gonna cost even more to build. Grand. Fucking excellent. There we go. Keep upgrading, boys. Oh, God, the oil. Right. Who's got oil? Who can I actually get oil from? Cindy's keep giving me that. Uh, Yankees, give me oil. Perfect. And uh, Union of South Africa, you can be my main supply of chromium. Did you end up going nut pop or the... Oh, no, wait. This guy. This guy's social conservative. I think these are the... Uh... Are these the... Restoration Dominionist Party? I'm trying to remember if this guy is the... Um, what do you call it? The apartheid guy or the not apartheid guy? I think you're apartheid, you're not. Yes, yes, there we go. Implement it. Wait, you can actually just start implementing this? What? I kind of want to play this now. I've never actually played South... Like, I don't actually play South Africa in general. They're remarkably a good... Like, they're a remarkably fun country, especially in Kaiserreich, because actually there's different nations to fight in, uh, in Africa. As opposed to... Uh, it's called vanilla, where it's just like, hey, there's like, what? I think, what? There's like two unique nations to Africa. Okay, thinking at nation start, there's Bye. what? There's Union of South Africa. Oh, sorry, what am I saying Union? There's South Africa. There's Ethiopia. Attention. Libya. And that's it, I think? What else is there, actually? No, because that's all France. Bit of Italy. British. Belgium. Yeah, I think it's just all else, all everything else is colonies. So there you go, you have two other nations to fight, and then, you know, you're basically onto the majors past that. Um, I think, I think their tree does sort of focus on that. If I recall rightly, doesn't their tree, like, it either does, like, limited walls, or it, like, releases them, or, like, argues, you know, it basically gets you land without fighting. Um, but yeah, I do, I do wish for, like, colonial walls especially, uh, especially, yes, ex especially. gonna give it to you. Um, I do wish there was like some uh, some peace treatying for that. Though I do understand why there's some peace treating in general for like the bigger wars, because Hearts of Iron 4 is based, like it's meant to be World War 2. <laughs> we all try and play it like CK2 and EU4 and what the fuck is this? That is like clearly an impossible wall, but the Yankees are giving it their fucking best. They're like, fuck it, we're going over the mountains. Fuck this shit, we're gonna take them that way. Anyway. Um, yeah, so like I, I still would like it as a mechanic. Yeah, like. It's just, it's, it's hard to do a mechanic like that right, because you see the normal peace treaty fucking AI. Imagine an AI who's trying to, like, negotiate a peace treaty. Like, imagine, like, talking to the British AI and be like, Hey, I want you calling. He's like, okay, you can take the mainland. Just leave us. <laughs> What's the fucking island? Oh, God, it's a Faroe Island? No, Shetland. There we go. Leave us with Shetland. Or Orkney. Lovely. Where's a Faroe Island? I'm trying to remember. I don't even re Oh, is it this, this one? Oh, yeah. Faron there. Is actually Canadian in this. What is it? In the, isn't that British in the normal game? I don't know. 
What, is the, what are the Mongolians doing? Oh, the war with the Russian state. Oh, that's a fun war. Literally any wars fought here, like this border right here, suck. There is no good reason to fight a war here. They're just so bad. I want to see, I want to do a mod, like, balkanize the Russians and just see how terrible the warfare would be in that. That'd be so much fun. Hey guys, want to go to war? Alright, sure, let me just take 10 years to invade my tiny fucking neighbor. Because we're all fighting in Siberia. Great. Fun. Just excellent design. Also, we need to add some color to our divisions, he says, meeting a diversity quota. Here we go. Um, because I'm getting sick of not being sure which boys are which. So... Uh, where are we? Clicky this button. Tunnel Rats, V Army, you're red. And Leon, you're obviously gonna be... You know what? The Laurels are great for you. You're golden, mate. You're... you give, give, Get a bit more burnish. Burnish, lovely. Loving the burnished gold, mate. What the... Oh, shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? No, that's just me trying to sap an impassable wall. Also referred to as, uh, the... Uh, I believe that's the 5th Division de Chasses Ardennes? The 5th Ardennes Division, probably? I believe that says? I don't fucking know. Alright, come on. Bring us down. Let's get to that fucking capital. We can kill these boys as well. Um, how are the Burmese doing? Wanna, wanna just you know, knock on their door? Get on the floor? Do the dinosaur? Uh, here we go. A bit of that. Lovely stuff. Lovely jubblies. Let's try and uh, capitulate them both at the same time, you know? Both... <laughs> <laughs> they'll both get there at the same time. They'll uh, <clears throat> they'll finish at the same time. You know, it'd be uh, be well timed. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, Burma is under our control. The Shan Confederacy. I mean, that sounds kind of fun. That's like a bit of a Shan, though. Oh. Um, I've just realised I'm not the only one in this peace deal, but I've also realised that the Shan Confederacy is entirely free. So I'm gonna just do that. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay. Can I get the capital yet? I'd like that at least. It has a lot of very good bits in. Yay! There we go. Beautiful. What the fuck is the Shane Confederacy? <laughs> I am sorry. It is my training dojo, clearly. What is that hat? Is that... Oh wait, is that a- okay, I- I- is that a hat with- hang on. So the way I saw it first is it looks like a wrap around his head and then he's just tied it off at the back and it looks like it's just like a towel with basically gone around his head. No, like- no, like not a towel, like a- like what you use it to tie a dressing gown closed, like he's tied- put that on the back of his head. But that might just be a hat with a fluffy thing on it. And I'm not sure, I think I prefer the whole idea of him using a dressing gown, uh, bloody belt as a- as a hat. Looks fucking- it looks, just looks brilliant, alright. He's a fabulous man. Let's actually equip our boys to, uh, push down south now. Here we go. You guys go there. And then you guys all go down here. Oh, the Yankees are here too. Brilliant. Just what we need. The Yankees in Vietnam. They won't fucking get out. God damn it. And then these guys go here. And they can threaten this little line. Lovely. Alright, guys. Move out. Get your jobs done. The fate of Burma. Our troops are marching through Yangoon. Uh, Yangoon? Yangoon. Do we liberate them? I mean, what, what, do we, what do we got here? It's honestly not that worth it. Although the resources are pretty nice. Eh, I mean, we might... Let's just, let's just liberate them. Alright. There we go. There we go. Kingdom of Burma. Oh. I like how this is the very tough leader the national populists have chosen. Is their fucking grandmother. Brilliant. Of course, this is uh, this is exactly the person we need to lead the country to glory. Alright, well now I've got a few puppets, I can actually get some manpower from as well. Here we go, ride the bicycles up. Send these guys in here. Shoot, one of you guys can just go down here this way. Beautiful, kill that guy. Just shifting all our boys around. Hopefully the Yankees can push at some point. We've basically got five guys locking us down here. One guy is locking us here, so we probably the best bet is to push here. Kill those Japanese up north. Here we go, boys. Everyone go in, go. Now's our go time. Actually, you guys stop them from fleeing. Here we go, perfect. Are we good? Oh, keep pushing, keep pushing. Come on now, you can see the head of it. And the baby is through. Alright. I wonder if the Pope can, like, get puppeted. Like, if you get, like, a, a Cindy Pope. What happens if you puppet a Cindy Pope? 
Do you just get no Pope? Is it just empty? <laughs> I want to know. Continue Please tell me. I need to know. Alright, spreads its wings. Lovely. This is my flying cock currently taking to air. Now let's go dives down. Oh, I kind of sad it doesn't uh, get enough, you know, innuendos in the descriptions because they're not there yet. I mean, like, it's literally called, like, the flying rooster. So, like, come on. Oh, shit, they capitulated way faster than I thought. Holy shit, I was... I thought I actually... Oh, wait. What the fuck are you doing? Hold on a second. All right, everyone dive in on this. You boys, um, get down here. Can we just deselect you? Yep, cool. Strategic redeploy. Get down to Singapore. How much, uh, how many factories and stuff do we just get? Oh boy, yeah, oh man, Singapore is a rich place. Wait, we're getting... That's owned by Siam. Wait, what? Did Siam actually peace treaty with these areas? I thought they didn't. Wait, so did the Dutch... I guess, I guess the Dutch ceased... Wait, what? When did... J when did Japan take over all of this, by the way? I guess, oh yeah, they're at war with Australia, aren't they? So what happened is Dutch East... Okay, I guess they're just entirely gone. I guess they must have, like, there must have been a peace deal I missed at some point. The, uh, it's called Dutch East Asian Company or whatever is, uh... Or management or whatever is, is just gone. Ostersign. They're fucking... They're vanished. All right, well, they're completely gone. The Japanese own the, uh, surrounding areas, but I think they don't have boats with which to actually get around, so that doesn't really fucking matter. You know what? Currently, our only plan is to uh, invade Japan, because frankly, we're looking good. But uh, we still need time to actually build up all of these delicious defenses in order to take on the Cindy's, which will probably be the last episode, so I think episode 7 being the finale will be good. But uh, I'll be back in just a moment, and I'm going to uh, have a little invasion for you planned up and ready, and we're going to see if we can actually crack the nut that is uh, the Japanese mainland. Okay, I have no idea how it's happened, but I've just looked over, and fucking Afghanistan is massive. Um... Wow. What the f- I, I guess they're... I guess, like, the Egyptian alliance or whatever tried to go to war with them and just got fucking ruined? Oh my god. I think it's because- wait, have you guys actually taken this- Okay, so I think the Russians helped out with Iran. And so, Afghanistan got a little bit stronger out of it. Oh my god. Two Amirs enter, one Amir leaves. Later on, a third Amir shanks the first one that survived. That's right, the Emirate of Afghanistan owns Saudi Arabia now. Because this whole place makes no fucking sense. Good job, boys. Oh, great, the Canadians have puppeted Mashriq. And... It's up! Okay, alright, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my naval invasion of Japan. A few nail-biting moments later, we've actually got that set up. We had to push forwards and uh, hold a little front line against them. Pull these guys in. Looking Gucci. Alright. Fucking grand. Uh, okay, don't. Don't not sail across. Don't be the cunts that do this. Alright, come on. Go fucking. I know you're gonna starve, but go do it. Alright. There you go. A few more weak points. There we go. No, no, I just. Did I just make that? Okay, that's strong as well, whatever. That point as well. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? No! No! What? During a visit to an FN Herstal factory, Leon de Grel has been shot dead by a factory worker. Though his bodyguards immediately return fire, killing the assailant. No! With de Grel lost, rushed, to the, rushed to the closest hospital, his medical attention came too late and around 1600 our great leader died. Due to his consolation of power over the last few years, there is no clear success to his legacy. And while the leaders of Rex are fighting each other, the other parties smell a chance to recover their lost popularity. Whether or not Rex will be able to retain power after this loss of their charismatic leader is to be seen, but dark clouds are definitely brewing over Alonia. But... No! No! Oh! Okay, Leon's still here. What the fuck? That is some great a- Oh no. In the wake of the death of de Grel, his second-in-command, Victor Mathis, has wrested control of the party to the uh, consultation of other major players like Louis Collard and the Minister of Propaganda, Georges Prosper, uh, Prosper Remy. Mathis' leadership qualities have quickly been outed as lackluster at best after he decided the populace can only be kept in line with extreme repression. While in, uh, well, it seems order has been temporarily restored, behind the facade of violent res uh, resistance keeps brewing, and Mathis' rule may be short-lived. Ah. <sighs> We still get Leon de Grel. 
<laughs> yeah, we totally can. Um... Okay. This is a fucking twist I was not expecting to come, like to see. I was c Come on. That's fucking mean. You know that's mean. Dick. God damn it. Right, let's just upgrade this guy, I guess. Now I just feel depressed cuz the girl's being killed. <laughs> but he's still alive sort of. I can't I can't cruelly cruelly truly cry until his portrait disappears. The best part about him. I imagine that that's just them propping up his portrait in the uh, in the office, keeping him a uh, keeping his memory alive. Good old Degrell. Downfall and stability. Well, that's to be expected. Degrell's not here to hold things together anymore. Things are just going to crumble around us. Coup d'état in Wallonia. What? The secession crisis seems to have affected the army, which has risen up in protest against the cruel massacres commissioned by Mathis to eliminate his opponents. Supported by the PL and POB, officers have ordered their soldiers to debate all Rexus commands and tanks have been seen rolling through the avenues of Liege towards the party headquarters. All the same, the remaining hardliners are unwilling to give up so easily and without a surrender the Rexus, uh, by the Rexist, a bloodbath is almost inevitable. In inevitable? Inevitable. Demand they lay down their weapons. Oh my god. Consultation with Remy. While uh, Louis Collard has fortified himself with, Re with Hex Rex hardliners in the party headquarters, Prosper Remy has been cooperating with the res resistance since De Grel's death, seeking a return to democracy. Traitor! You traitor! While his efforts have been proven fut uh, futile in avoiding armed conflict so far, he still holds some sort of the nation and has convinced many other Rexists outside of the capital to surrender themselves to the army. While he's tried mediating with the remaining hardliners, all have come to naught and it seems to not go down without a fight. Launch the attack. What the fuck? This is not- this is not okay! What? George Definate assumes temporary control. No. After a short but bloody siege of the party headquarters, the army has emerged victorious and claimed George Definate as leader of the provisional government until elections are held. The POB and PL have immediately restarted their propaganda efforts, and with Rex having been disbanded by the military, Remy has announced that he will be running for office to contain the uh, remaining Rexist elements and help Polonia on the way to full democracy. What? No. But Leon's still around. <laughs> we got we got Rex back in charge. Leon's still around. Oh, to growl. I just feel sad now. I feel like this is almost like, just like this is this is. No. I fought so hard, so hard to get Degrel in power, and then a fucking factory worker just shoots him. I just... Excuse me. We've got... Why does that do that still? We've got somewhere to be. We've got... We've got to go back home. Alright. It's time we just... It's time for the final countdown. DeGrell's not here anymore. We can't... We're not... We're not taking Japan. Go home. Forget about all of that. Screw it. Alright. We're leaving. Go on. Here we go. Get on your boats, boys. Well, guys, I guess I'll see you next time for the next, I mean, the, the final episode of Leon de Grel's Belgium. Oh, man. Man, that's kind of sad. We'll start the war against the Cindy's. We'll see what will happen, but frankly, they fly the Rexus flag, but they just disgust me. Oh. Okay. I guess, I guess this is it. Farewell for now. I'll see you next time for the... For the last time. Farewell. <laughs>